。同志们，咱们三连打过很多难打的仗，但多硬的骨头我们都啃下来了。大道理我就不说了，今天我只有一个要求：拿出你们的血性，拿出你们的狼性。等完成任务，我会亲自向首长给大家请功。出发！是是。What are Chinese made of? Why aren't they feel cold? They're not even human. Even a bunch of vampires sneaking behind you and bite you in the neck all of a sudden. Can I get a light, buddy? Here we go, buddy. The damp is like a giant freezer. We all just canned sardines now. Hard to imagine some of the Chinese who blew up the bridge in thin cotton padded jackets. We will make it home before Christmas. Well, even we lose this goddamn war. At least yeah. I can pack myself up in yes. a gift box and all send right. to my daughter's school. God knows how much I miss my home. Whether you're human or a devil, I won't retreat anymore.
咱们得拖出车队的美军，就在桥面上，站桥。是，小牛，放心，风风组，给我上。是，换掩护。
Damn it. Gather up these bodies and move them to the north side of the bridge. And tell the engineers to patch up the gap of the bridge! Feng Xianzhang, this is too easy to hide. Let's go first. Let's go. Wait a minute. Colonel, we've already sent soldiers to search the outskirts of the hillside. Are you a hunter, Lieutenant? No. City boy from tip to toe. We're after a pack of foxes. Gotta be two steps ahead of them. They're close. I can smell them. Surrounded by those nasty Chinese. You can count on this city boy here. I remember you're half Indian. Not half. Quarter, to be exact. Sometimes I can't really tell what's civilized and what's savage. I don't have any particular political stance. You seem to know more about history than I do. You're a good soldier. The less you think, the more you follow orders. We should fall back to port. What am I going back for, huh? Early retirement? The one-time payout they give me won't even cover a cheap nursing home, crawling with bedbugs. <laughs> nah. That won't be my end. I'm a soldier. So you never had a family? No, my friend. I grew up on a farm in Kentucky. My grandfather fought in the First World War. He was a great soldier. Even though his last few years were plagued by various physical and mental war disorder, I joined World War II for him. Thank God. I'm glad he can't see me in this disgrace now. Damn. I don't have such a special experience as you. I joined the military just to trade my service for a decent life. It would be even better to get a medal. Maybe it would be something to talk about in a bar. In my old age, who knows? It could be a great story. And who knows, maybe, have my picture framed on a wall in a museum somewhere. I hope so. There's something! Quick! Get over there! Chinese! Go! Pass on, Lisha! Feng Xianzhong, quick shot! Show me where I can show up! Jiho! Jiho! Jiho!
别喊了，我听见了。哎呀，哎呀，我，哎，我只问你一句话，嗯，谁是孬种啊？还记着呢，我是孬种，行了吧？就不清楚，你们跟美国人之间在军事科技上有多大的差距？鸡蛋跟钢铁硬碰硬，那能行吗？我们知道美国人的武器很强大，可这场仗必须得打，不但要打，还必须取得最终的胜利，不然这些美国人。就扛着枪站在咱们家门口了。我们都可以牺牲在战场上，但是你不行，你得活着，回去替我们啊建设祖国我们等你回来，王先生，王先生。Shouldn't they all be dead by now? They should be. These Asians all look the same to me. They will all go to hell.
。连长，美国鬼子的桥被炸了两回，他们现在已经化被动为主动了。这样的话，我们很难在天亮前把桥给炸了。连长，我在水坝桥遇到了冯新冯先生。桥梁专家？对，就是他。他临死前跟我说，三连的同志在炸水坝桥的时候，是被美国佬包围才全连牺牲的。他还说，让咱们千万不要炸桥面，一定要炸桥墩，桥墩才是桥的桥眼。他让我转告你，一定要想办法攻进桥中间的水坝房，水坝房的最底层就是桥墩的桥眼。探子为付出巨大牺牲，把他留下来，应该就是为了传递这个信息给咱们。是的。可惜啊，我们没能把他给救回来。连长，那咋整啊？炸桥墩子？哎，连长，我还注意到桥背有一个缺口，如果咱们可以把缺口扩大的话，应该可以炸掉它。咱们能想到的，三连长之前肯定也想到了。而且咱们团的一连，之前炸的就是桥面，可是美国佬很快就把桥面又给修补了。现在水坝桥被他们的坦克和装甲车围得像铁桶一样。而且咱们已经牺牲两个连了。这帮美国佬，天生就是拿下巴看人的。他们的傲慢，可能是咱们唯一的胜算。连长，你就说吧，接下来我们怎么整？连长，现在最棘手的是，我们已经打扫清楚了。咱们后半夜分成两路，一个机枪组。从桥北向水坝桥冲锋，吸引桥南敌人的注意，然后另外一座从桥底摸到桥南去。连长，我建议，去桥南的战士要抢占一个工事为据点，再搞一辆车，以最快的速度冲进水坝房。可以。连长，桥北的地形我说，交给我吧。连长，我去桥尾吧。江方向跑，我争取天亮之前跑到家。到了家，我先吃顿酸菜，再来顿饺子，最后，最后高低整他一顿酸菜馅的饺子。行，你替我也回趟家。我想我娘蒸的白面馒头了。那你也让路去趟我老家青海。给我带一壶都兰县的马奶酒。哎，同志们，等这仗打完，咱们完成任务，我请大家下馆子水百秋。<笑>哎，指导员，嗯，咱在一起打了快十年的仗，也没见你请咱下过几回馆子啊
，你那今天都在嫂子那儿了吧？你拿啥亲啊你、啊？<笑>我说你怎么哪壶不该提哪壶？这家里我说了算。好，这次一定行。<笑>我们都等着啊。哎，小安林，你不是会唱戏吗？给哥们来两句，千里走单骑，整两句。行了行了，别整的跟新娘子回娘家似的。等咱们炸完桥，回来唱。对，回来唱。火着剑，火着剑，火着剑，火着剑。走了，走吧，出发一会儿等北边打起来，咱们就马上爬上去。万里，雷爹说过，你是咱祁连的一门炮。之前没少骂你，但是你的进步，哥都看在眼里了。你一定会成为一个比我优秀的兵。以前哥怕你乱跑，是怕你把小命给丢了。但是从现在开始，你可以自由的去飞了。哥就在你旁边。左人，你看他样。去以后，先抢夺公事。Please believe me. Victory and freedom belong to us. We are the shepherds of this unfortunate country. We must unite to drive away those Chinese.
send them all to freaking hell! Go! Where's our main force? They should arrive here tomorrow. The Chinese pursuit drained their time. Here, take a look at this. Stupid pen. Stupid pen.
gunshot. Not from the north, but I think they're coming soon. Chinese are on the south side. They're attacking us on the bridge. Masters! Tell the soldiers to hold it! Do not let them cross! Move your ass! What are you waiting for? Go now! Our opponents are very cunning. They won't give up that easily. <laughs> 